Well, I think several, uh, Haley. Um, firstly, the question around data ownership was really quite prominent, and I felt that um, a number of the panelists representing the buy side, uh, also the sell side, and this uh, alternative provider of uh, bond data, I think we're all aligned on the issue, which is to say, you know, why are we paying for data that we are in part responsible for producing? So that was, I, th I thought, an important theme. And I think also voiced um, a frustration that the user community has. Um, and this is where the question of ownership um, kind of comes into play. So that was certainly one aspect. I think the others that kind of came through were, uh, you know, things that we're used to hearing about, but it's, it's good to be reminded. So the, um, the, the, um, the increase in, in uh, data fees, the year-on-year -year, uh, sort of costs going up and, and no ability for us as the user community to understand, you know, what is driving those price rises and, you know, has there been an increase um, in their technology spend, you know, and if anything, the, the trend is, is very much the opposite, isn't it? It's going down. So that, I think, is a major frustration for, for the user community. That combined with um, the, uh, um, the complexity in the fee structure, so these multiple licenses that you have to take out to view data that perhaps only a few years back you could view through a single license, now you have to take out multiple licenses. So I think it was quite a rich debate and I think a lot of sort of um, frustrations were, were, were vented for sure. We had a speaker from the UK FCA and in the UK market, that's, there's a strong focus right now on understanding um, the conditions for market data provision and trying to test for a competition. And, and I think there'll be some pretty, um, I hope, strong policy responses if as a result of this investigation, um, they determine that there is no competition and, and sort of um, there's monopolistic tendencies in this market. So that was interesting to hear and I think Again, from the panelists, there was a feeling that, um, you know, the, the conditions for the provision of market data are less than competitive and, and not as good as they should be. So that was definitely a, another interesting theme that was explored. Well, uh, I think what was interesting about this panel was to kind of juxtapose um, a wider problem, which is access to market data, fair and sort of uh, re reasonable cost access to market data, and then this more recent and kind of um, topical discussion around MIFID review and provision of consolidated tape. But I think um, I would say the majority of the panelists were aligned on the idea that consolidated tape kind of exists on its own and will, you know, will come in and solve for. Um, a major market demand that has nothing to do with market data costs. So consolidated tape is, is, is something that's desired and that we welcome because it gives us the consolidated view on uh, price and volume across a very fragmented trading landscape in Europe. That's what that fulfills. It doesn't really, um, it's not going to address the cost of market data feeds that we get from the exchanges or from the data vendors. So the, I think it was kind of you know, interesting to affirm that. <laughs> but um, what we did hear around consolidated tip, which I think was of value, was uh, certainly from the buy side representative that uh, pre-trade, the inclusion of real-time pre-trade data is going to be very important in determining the success of this consolidated tip. And I think this comes from, um, you know, a good source, given that, um, the, you know, the speaker is based in the U.S. and has experience of consolidated tape. In the U.S., as you know, it's been uh, uh, operating for over four decades. So, the, the point around pre-trade resonated with me, and the second one, I think, around consolidated tape, which um, quite a few people uh, kind of uh, seem to respond to and, and, and were in agreement with, was around the need to design a strong governance framework around this consolidated tape. So, to ensure that there is a board that's overseeing the fee structure the technical aspects, the delivery, the speed, and all of this. Because again, if we look to the US, you know, a more mature market in that sense, on this question alone, um, you know, we discovered that there are important governance issues that they're facing that we could, we would happily avoid if, if we get the design right, you know, from the outset.